Three weeks ago, I set myself a challenge to see if I could get ChatGPT to write expert level cover letters. The kind I coach clients towards writing as part of my day job as a careers consultant at Cambridge University. I was feeling pretty confident that three weeks and 137 prompts later, would I still feel the same? I'm Raj, let's jump in. I first wanted a baseline of the kind of cover letters ChatGPT was capable of creating, so I set it the most basic prompt I could based on a random job I found. This business analyst role at the British Museum. Here's how that baseline test went. I love the speed of ChatGPT right out the gate. The first paragraph reads, I'm writing to express my strong interest in the position of business analyst at the British Museum as advertised on LinkedIn. With my diverse background in business analysis and a deep passion for cultural heritage, I believe I am an ideal candidate for this role. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily go into any one particular detail. It's a pretty basic standard opening. It's not bad, but also, it's not going to wow anyone. Recruiters may just have disengaged ever so slightly. Let's see if the second paragraph can pull it back. As an experienced business analyst with X years experience, I have developed comprehensive skill set in data analytics, requirements gathering, process improvement, and project management. Now, let's see if the job description actually emphasizes these particular skills. Actually, not so much. The top skills from the job description are organization skills and analytical skills. I'm pretty sure that ChatGPT is web scraping. It's finding matching role descriptions for business analyst roles out there on the net. And it's importing those most frequently matching skills it finds from those roles rather than taking that information directly from the job description. Now, this is a problem because the job description is the most important document in effective cover letter writing. Overall, the cover letter was a bit too long, but most importantly of all, it didn't feature those top listed skills from the job description. As a ready to submit cover letter, I'd maybe score it a 4 out of 10, as a cover letter from which to refine and then edit manually from, maybe even a 6, 6.5 out of 10. And it's actually pretty decent. With a pretty strong baseline set, I was feeling confident I could get ChatGPT to deliver expert level cover letters. A chat with a software engineering friend led me to GitHub and Discord pages for recommended prompts. I figured I'd give the cover letter ones a go and then, and I don't know, bask in the glory of success, but spoiler alert, things didn't go quite according to plan. While the recommended prompts were delivering results, they weren't necessarily delivering expert level cover letters. They were often singular in nature, me focused, and we already know of ChatGPT's habit of ignoring job descriptions we direct it towards. And this led to a light bulb moment. If ChatGPT wasn't going to move towards the job description, I was going to move the job description towards ChatGPT with super specific prompts. Okay, so in order to generate those super specific prompts to help ChatGPT, I first broke down what I knew to be an expert level cover letter, and not just because I wrote it myself, and take that breakdown and write it into prompts. So first, the breakdown. The first paragraph of an expert level cover letter has three elements. Element one, the hook, a precise compliment about one bit of work the organization has done, which then connects to element two, making a parallel to our own work or study, so showing our contextual value. And element three, showing willingness to enhance the top listed skills from the job description, implying we already have them, while paragraph two focuses exclusively on the top listed skill from the job description with detail. Paragraph three focuses on the second listed skill in the job description, and then finishing with a short direct closing. Expert level cover letter breakdown complete. I then wrote these into prompts, being as exact as I could. Let's read through them together. First, you're an expert level cover letter writing coach with 10 years experience getting candidates interviews at world leading institutions. So this is us instructing ChatGPT to write as a particular persona, one with expertise. Second, we're defining the task. We're writing a cover letter for a role as a business analyst at the British Museum. I found that feeding it a link to a job description or even copy pasting a job description into the prompt isn't anywhere near as effective. And then we have the piece by piece detail of what makes an expert level cover letter, which we recently deconstructed, focusing that first paragraph on the British Museum rather than us and building a parallel to the job description's top ranked skill, so organizational skill. We're specifying short, more readable paragraphs that won't risk getting glossed over by recruiters. And finally, we're defining the goal to write a cover letter to get our candidate an interview. 
And remember, we're writing it from a persona of an expert cover letter writing coach. I was nervous to see if this hard work would actually pay out. And then I held my breath. Okay, has this worked? It does start by appreciating the British Museum, which is great. It brings in organisational skills nice and early, and we'll of course have to check if this project it mentions actually exists. It is then building that parallel. We'll need to add in our own example rather than the one ChatGPT has dreamed up, but it does give us a good model to work from. So far, so good. Paragraph length is working well, it is listening to us, and critically, it has an easy to identify paragraph on organization skills and similarly for analytical skills. This is great. It didn't take the exact wording we asked for, e.g. how to start that paragraph. I think we can forgive it. It's not baking in everything we asked for, even though we were super specific with our prompts. But as a starting point cover letter from which to edit from, it's pretty strong, maybe an 8 out of 10. It's definitely working better with more exact prompts. But as a ready to submit cover letter, it's still struggling, maybe a five out of 10. The main things it's missing are just the real life examples that will animate the descriptions, just bring it to life a little bit. I spent another few days trying exactly 137 prompt combinations in a trial and error approach, but I couldn't get much past a five out of 10 for ready to submit cover letters, nor past eight out of 10 for cover letters as a starting point from which to edit from. I'd gotten about as far as I could. Here's what I learned in those three weeks, and here's how you can use ChatGPT to help you write expert level cover letters. ChatGPT is a pattern matching tool. It doesn't think like you and me. It takes the main thing it thinks is important from the prompt, in our case, cover letter, and it web scrapes to find a template and it gives that primacy, hanging everything off it, which is why I think any subsequent prompts we deliver don't always get taken aboard. And this is true for ChatGPT, which runs off version 3.5, and also its successor, GPT-4. And this is fair enough, right? ChatGPT is a generalist AI tool. It's not optimized for cover letters. While I wouldn't recommend using ChatGPT for ready to submit cover letters, I think its main use case is in providing a first draft or a template from which to work from based on intelligent prompts that reflect what we want from it. Used that way, it's a pretty decent tool, one which we can use to help us move towards expert level cover letters. And you can do the same using the following two steps. One, first use the prompt chain I've shown in this video and paste it into the description box below. Of course, change it to what you're applying for and you'll be able to generate a solid starting point cover letter which emphasizes the right things and broadly has a good structure. And then second, refine and edit ChatGPT's output. Include your own examples to lift the quality level. I've also pasted my example expert level cover letter in the description box below, which you can use as a guide. Follow these two steps and I'm confident you'll be sitting on cover letter gold. Let me know how you get on in the comment section down below. I always enjoy replying. Next up, we have a deep dive into what makes a cover letter expert level. And then we'll get to the video you've all been waiting for, the grand AI cover letter writing showdown between ChatGPT and Google AI's Bard to see which wins the crown. Definitely subscribe if you don't want to miss out. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being you. I'll catch you next time.